Welcome back to another video, you guys. Today, I'm gonna show you everything that I got at Dollar Tree. Some stuff is new. I'm gonna show you at the end some of my favorite reoccurring stuff and some new favorite stuff. So let's get started. Okay, if you're new to my channel, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. But okay, I'm not gonna waste any more of you guys' time because I do have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put it all in one video and I can't wait to show you everything that I got. Okay, we are gonna start off with kitchen items. Okay, so let's start with our first kitchen item, which is gonna be this dish drying mat. I, this is not a new product that I've used. I've used their other dish dry mats and I love them. Every time I see a new color, I pick it up. So this year I am into navy blue and I saw that they had this navy blue dish drying rack mat. So I picked it up and this is how it looks. I wouldn't say these are perfect for like everyday use. I think these are like if your dish caddy thing is already full and you need to finish like washing your glasses, like your mugs, this is perfect for that. Or like the other day I went to the thrift store and I got a set of like silverware. So I used this to dry them up and they dried beautifully. So. Not an everyday use, I would say, but more like small items at a time. These dish drying mats are perfect and I love them. And I always replace them when the new season comes in and I'm always in theme with something. So for summer, I did pick up this cool navy blue. And of course, pairing my mat with a little kitchen towel. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the kitchen towels at Dollar Tree are getting softer. Do you think so as well? I don't know. This kitchen towel feels so soft. It feels like it's worth more than $1.25. And again, it matches that blue aesthetic that I'm going for and I am here for it. I also picked up this microfiber scrubber set of little towels. These are actually a two set of towels and I've never used these before. This is how they look and they have like a little scrubber. So you use these more like for cleaning not really for like drying your hands so i'm gonna play a run with these to clean around my kitchen and let you guys know what i think about them but yeah i don't know i had never seen these at dollar tree before i'm sure they're there i just there's so many things your eyes only concentrate to like a few products like the other day i went on amazon and i bought these like plant I don't even know what they're called they're like for your long plants to kind of like twirl around so your plant grows up instead of like falling on the ground well anyways I bought two on Amazon which I loved but then I went to Dollar Tree and I saw that they had them there not the exact design but something similar and I was just like ah oh, why didn't I check Dollar Tree first but anyways, okay, <laughs> let's move on to the next product, which are these microfiber wash towels. This comes in a pack of five. They had different colors, but I've been really liking pink in my bathroom, and I am going to use these for my bathroom. It's just a little thin little washcloth. Nothing particular about it, but you can use these to wash your hands and just throw them in the dirty laundry whenever you're done and you can have a few of these in like a spare bathroom for a guest and it looks nice it feels good using a brand new towel to wash your hands and they're practical and convenient and on a budget so yes i love these little hand towels you can also use these to take off your makeup or to like dry your face once you're out of like once you wash your face or something I love them the next product that we have is this sponge holder now this seems like a basic 
item that everyone should have but honestly we don't have one of these i don't know why we usually keep our sponges in like a little plastic container so i'm gonna try this i wonder if these little suction cups are gonna be good enough to like stay on my sink so we'll try this and let you guys know what i think about it but i'm super excited to have this i don't know why i don't have one the next item on my list is a salt and pepper shaker we don't lose salt and pepper shakers we just misplace them uh everybody kind of eats where they want to in this house and so there's always like a salt paper there's always like a salt shaker somewhere in the house and not in the kitchen so i always strive to have multiple salt shakers just in case and i saw these i mean salt shakers are kind of expensive to be honest and these are made out of glass so i was like okay i'll try them i don't know how long the little tip is gonna last before it rusts but they look like pretty nice little affordable salt shakers and i'm gonna see how we like them around here i used to have these beautiful ceramic salt and pepper shakers and my mom dropped them she dropped both of them not at the same time separate occasions and she broke them maybe she didn't like them mom is there something that you're not telling me like did you just not like them you could have just told me but anyways i love these these are great i think the openings are the same um, so I'm probably going to use both of these for salt, not for pepper. And every time I'm at the dollar store, if I see anything acrylic-like, I pick it up. Like, it doesn't matter if I need it, if I know where I'm going to place it. None of that matters. That goes out the window. So I picked this one up and I just took the sticker off. So I picked one of these up and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But all of this stuff has been sitting in a drawer for a good week. So now it clicked. Because yesterday I was on Amazon trying to find little storage for the little packets of like, um, you know, the little packets that go in your water to give your water like a taste. Like what are they called? Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're called, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put those in here and so you can separate them by taste by if there's zero calories stevia whatever you do what you want with these you can also put makeup brushes in here I don't know I feel like there's a ton of things you could do with these that's why I always pick them up I feel like they're good quality and a dollar 25 I mean it doesn't get much better than that does it okay last two kitchen items and we'll move on to something else i already took off the paper for this but obviously this is like where all the little cleaning brushes are at so what this is is you just you know opposite side i guess you can replace the head and keep this part i'm not sure but anyways you twist off the cap you add some soap in there you add some what I'm thinking about adding is maybe either like bleach and water or like vinegar and water in here and cleaning my little, not my sink, the little hole in your tile shower that's like for your shampoos. That thing, I don't know if it was like, if it happens to everybody, but it traps water. And so then it gets really dirty since it's really close to the shower head. Bad design, I know. So I'm going to use this to scrub it. And I don't know. I think this is going to work for my bathroom. Technically, it's like a kitchen item, but who cares? I'm going to use this for my bathroom. Or you can also use this to clean like your sink, your dirty dishes, Whatever it may be that you want to use this for, it's there at Dollar Tree. This is also a brand new product that I've never seen at Dollar Tree, and it is this travel dressing container. 
And I bought this for my husband. So when he takes salads, he doesn't have to put the dressing on the salad. He can just open this up and take the dressing to go. But I also thought about like when you're traveling and you want to put maybe some shampoo in here. I don't know. I feel like this would be an easier way to squeeze out shampoo. I don't know if this is leak proof. I will play around with this for a while and I will let you guys know if I liked it. But I don't know. I dig it. I dig how you can like squeeze it. It's so cute and so fun. That was it for kitchen stuff. I have a lot of plants and my plant collection keeps growing and when your plant collection grows you need planters and you also need like the little saucers so I saw this I think this was in the craft section it's just like a little plastic bowl and I picked it up to use it as a saucer um, all of my plants currently have saucers so I don't need one but you know sometimes you get the urge to get a new plant and I don't know I'll have it handy I had some extra ones and when I did my little spring cleaning I was like I don't need these and I threw them out and I regret my decision so much so Dollar Tree has some this size I don't know what size this is but for a dollar twenty-five Another great idea, which I was on the lookout for when I went thrifting, is buying these, but in glass. I don't know. I think glass just looks cuter or maybe like ceramic. Ugh, obsessed. But this last time that I went through a thrift store, I didn't find any. So I have this one as backup. I will mention there are a lot of products for plants at Dollar Tree. This last time I was there, I saw that they were selling like little baggies of soil, like potting mix soil. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, it's there. I personally didn't want to get it, um, but it's there. And then they also have like little pots, planters, whatever you want to call them. They're there. They have gardening tools. They have a lot of stuff. So... If you're ever curious about getting your first plant, just know you can start out buying stuff from the Dollar Tree and then, you know, replace them as your plant starts growing. So, I got this a little floral mister at Dollar Tree. Honestly, I had picked one up from Pop Shelf and it was like four or three dollars. And it looks the same. I feel like the one at Pop Shelf was even like cheaper quality because it said decorative so this plastic thing was like kind of flimsy so i picked up another one and it worked so i'm gonna be replacing the other one with this one i love to spritz my plants um i don't know just to revive their little leaves i actually have a product that i just purchased on amazon to like shine the leaves i'll let you guys know um in my amazon video next time how i'm liking that because you guys i buy a lot of things on amazon and i never show you guys so i think it's time that i show you guys what i get from amazon okay moving on to some five dollar section products Sometimes I think that the $5 section just is not for me, but I keep trying it anyways. So today we got this color changing LED diffuser and let's open it. I kind of already played around, like I turned it on. I haven't diffused any oils on it, um, but I did turn it on. So things I want to note. To you guys so this is what the product looks like this is what it looks like from inside so normally with a diffuser or a humidifier you add the oil in water but not here in here you just add the oil in this little tin and it has this like hot light that's supposed to diffuse the oil and it comes with a cable I don't think this is like, I think you have to have this plugged in. I'm not sure. I haven't tried to see if this charges. But I'm going to show you guys right now 
um, a little clip of me like turning it on and seeing how it looks and I'll write to see if you can actually smell whatever oil you put in there which I'm pretty sure it will work like those hot lamps that diffuse like wax I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing but yeah this is what you get for five dollars I think I'll leave it up to you to see if you think it's worth the five dollars or not all right let me get a power bank so I can show you this next product okay this next product is an LED light bar it can be ver vertical or horizontal depending on your likes and this was five dollars as well it says it's multicolored 16 LED color modes and it has a three inch foot cord and it comes with a remote so I appreciate that it comes with a remote here is what the light looks like oh yeah I guess the cord is a pretty long so this is what the little light looks like this thing comes off so you can do it vertical or horizontal for video preferences we're gonna do it vertical I can't plug it into this one let me go get another power bank again Amazon products I got this on Amazon we love using this power bank it comes in handy okay can I set it down yes I can all right Ooh. here is what the light looks like on and we're about to start changing the colors You can also do like a smooth color changing, fade, strobe, flash. The strobe to me, it's not really doing much. I think you can dim it. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's cool. I'll try to play around with it at night and see how it looks at night i've only tested it I, again i opened it just to see what it was like because i was gonna gift it um so i haven't really tried it at night so we'll get a little shot here of what it looks like at night and see what it looks like and again we'll see if it's worth the five dollars or not Or if it's easier to just spend the money on an actual LED light that's like a little bit more expensive. I don't know. Okay, this next product I have used. I've used this one. It is the Fabric Softener Dryer Sheets. These are in the free and clear, which means they're unscented, undyed. And it comes with 40 sheets. Now, I got these because... I was going to order some dryer sheets on Amazon and after I used these a couple times I noticed that they left my clothes like feeling softer so they work 40 sheets for a dollar 25 I don't know if it if it's cheaper just to get like the name brand for like I don't know how many sheets that usually comes with but I'm gonna keep buying these I love I love them so I picked up the scent Fresh Linen and from what I can smell through the box, it smells really good. I think it was probably like my favorite scent there out of all of the ones that they had. And these sheets say it helps eliminate static clean, softens and freshens clothes and spaces. So you can actually use these as well like in your drawers to help like, I don't know like to help the smell in your drawers or maybe like in between your towels in the bathroom. I don't know. I've only used them in the dryer, but if you have any tips of where we could put these, comment down below. Let us know what your favorite way to use these dryer sheets are. So I've picked up a Dove creams at Dollar Tree before. This is not, this one in particular is new. I haven't opened it but i love picking these up i love dove cream honestly it feels so good on the skin 
And I love that, you know, you can take these to go, put them in your nightstand. I don't know. Love them. I have this one. And I also have the rose. I think that's in one of my bags. I don't know where it's at. But I love them. So, I decided to try the Vaseline Cocoa Glow. It says it's made with pure cocoa butter. And that's it. <laughs> So I don't know if this is supposed to give you like a glow. Have you guys ever tried this one? I want to see how it smells. Oh wow. It looks... Oh this smells so good. Okay. Let's try some on on our hands right now. It's definitely a different consistency than the Dove. But it's like it glides on faster but then it starts getting like sticky do my hands have a glow i don't know they look hydrated and they feel good and they smell good okay 10 out of 10 i'm gonna keep using it and see if it really does give you like a glow i'm really curious about that okay this next product I've actually tried the Bolero brand, but I haven't tried the Bolero oil infused moisturizing body wash. You guys, I have an oil infused body wash in my Target cart right now, but I hadn't made the purchase because I have a lot in my bathroom that I'm trying to like use before I really buy it. And when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I was like, this is just what I'm looking for. Oil infused moisturizing body wash. Now this was my favorite scent before I smelled the coconut and lavender one, the blue one of these. But vanilla and bean and honey, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's just so comforting. This one kind of smells more like the oil that they used. Let me see what oil they used. Mm, I don't know, but I'm so excited to try this. I have all of their hand creams. Let me show them to you. I, I am obsessed with this brand. I picked up this body scrub. So now we're going to use these two together and see how I like them. So I have the body scrub. And I have all of the body butters. Now, this used to be my favorite smell. But ever since I opened up the coconut milk and lavender, this one's my favorite. Unfortunately, I didn't see this body wash. If not, I would have picked it up. And this one does smell like watermelon, like a watermelon lollipop. And if that's your scent, then this one's for you. Unfortunately, that's not my scent. But love 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 these two we're gonna try this out i'm gonna use it a few times and see how i like it and i will let you guys know right here okay that same brand also has a body oil i had picked up the body oil in the watermelon uh, scent but i didn't like the smell <laughs> so now that i saw that they had this one i had to pick it up so let's open it together Okay, so this is what the little bottle looks like. It's just basically mineral oil, vanilla extract, honey extract, and some other stuff I can't pronounce. Oh yeah, this, this and the body butter smell identical. The body wash smells a little different, but okay. And it's like a little spray. So you just use this as you normally would use any body oils. I love to use body oils when I am out the shower just to like soak in all the hydration. I love to use it on mostly on my legs because I feel like my legs are like the most driest part out of my body. So that's where I would put this. But honestly, I feel like you could grab a little bit dab it on like your pulse tabs where you're gonna spray perfume and maybe it'll help your perfume last longer i don't know 
I'm gonna try it out, let you guys know if I like that combination of this body oil and perfume and see if it gives it like a different chemistry. Because people do that with Vaseline or lotion, so why not do it with body oil? But okay, we talked a lot about that brand. Let's move on. And I love that brand because they have everything in like a little separate section and you just want to grab everything. I will say that the oil is a little bit like it's taking a lot longer to penetrate into my hands. So I'm going to take it off right now because I am opening products. So that's what I'm saying oil at night or just a little bit on your pulse points. I think I've showed you guys this one before, but I had to pick it up again because I misplaced mine. Why did I misplace it? I know where it's at. It's in Miami with my best friend. I forgot it there. So this Bliss Text Lip Medics. This stuff, honestly, I didn't think was going to work and I had really dried lips. So it was kind of like, I don't know, girl, you got to do what you got to do. And I did it. I applied it to my lips and oh my gosh, my lips felt so much better. I can't get this out. So this is definitely my ride or die from now on. Probably my favorite lip product at the moment at Dollar Tree. Mm. So good. And it smells like, I mean, medicine, like minty, like, like Carmex. You know what Carmex smells like? This smells really, it smells really identical to Carmex, but I feel like Carmex is a lot thicker on your lips. Okay, random things that I picked up. I picked up these cute little llama clips. Honestly, don't know why I picked them. Don't know if I need them. I need them. Let's just get that straight. I need them for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe chip clips? I don't know. What should I use these for? I just love them. The little llamas are so stinking cute. And I'll just braise through this product. It's a pill organizer. I call it my supplement organizer. I take a lot of supplements each and every day. And this just helps me keep track. And I don't have to remember, did I take that on Monday or did I not? Because these are labeled by days. And they come with a little carrying case. So I have showed you guys this product before. It's one of my favorite. I've tried many pill organizers before. This one definitely beats all of them. All of the ones at Dollar Tree and all of the ones that I've tried on Amazon for a lot more monies. So this is just a little backup to one of the ones I have. My husband also got one. He saw mine, he's like, hey, I want one of those, please go get me one. So when I went to go get his, I got another one. Okay, hear me out, spring cleaning. It's around the, it's around the block. If you're not doing it already, you're about to do it. And if you just don't believe in spring cleaning, then you don't believe in spring cleaning. But we buy, when they're on sale, we buy those large, like, 30 27 quart boxes at Home Depot usually they go on sale under ten dollars um, but they're usually around ten or eleven dollars and they have like either a red they're black with like either a red or a yellow lid so what you can do is grab a sharpie and write on the lid and like write whatever is inside that box but what I want to do this year is use tape so I'll tape on multiple parts of the box and I'll write on the tape what's inside the box. That way, if you're looking at it, if the boxes are stacked, you can look at them from a side view and see what's in the box. I don't know. Haven't done it yet. I have the tapes now. I have the Sharpies. All I got to do is start cleaning, <laughs> which I'm putting it off. But... I should do it before it gets hot. Last time I had a garage sale in midsummer and it just, it wasn't, I almost fainted. 
it was too hot it was just me doing the garage sale there was a point where i just wanted to come inside and people kept coming and yeah it was not fun so i'm gonna try to get ahead of it and do it before summer i also picked up these little small spray bottles pump spray bottles it's a two pack for a dollar 25. um i don't know what i need these for but i'll find I'll find what to use these. Um, you can use these as like a little room spray. Add some water, some essential oil, spray it around your house. You can just add water when you're doing your hair. That's probably what I'm going to do with one of them. Like spray my bangs when I want to like reshape them. So they have them there for $1.25. I'll run through some of my favorite products real quick. These are products that I've tried, I've tested, I love them. I always pick them up when I'm there because we run out of them and they come in handy. So I always have spares. The number one, I think you guys, if you guys follow me, you guys have seen me talk about this toothpaste. I don't know. I tried going to other toothpaste. I love this one. I love it. I don't know. I feel like it actually cleans my mouth this I use this to clean my bathroom because I will use the whole bottle so I don't like to use my Dawn soap but the yesterday I was using it in the kitchen not my favorite compared to Dawn in the kitchen but it was like halfway and I mixed it with my Dawn soap and the smell that it gave me was just so nice so I've been using it right now but yes, I love Ajax to clean my bathroom tile. This Lysol. I don't know why I keep getting the small one. I'm sure if I go on like Walmart, they have the bigger one. But I love this small one because, I don't know, you use it up and then you can just throw the bottle away. But this smell, it smells so good after you clean your bathroom with this. It's like so minty and it does a really good job at cleaning your bathroom or cleaning the toilet bowl I mean I don't know 10 out of 10 I love it Autobahn so this is my go-to in the bathroom no more poopery I mean we do have poopery if you want to use that instead but this in the bathroom it's been a game changer I swear and we also I also get the little the big sprayer at Dollar Tree the three dollar one and I usually spray that one around the house to kill odors but I love having the little small one in the bathroom. 10 out of 10 recommend. I love this stuff. I swear by Autobahn. If you want to get like the big bottle and the sprayer, Sam's has it for like $9. Which I think is like the same price if you would buy both of those at Dollar Tree. So it just depends, right? Where you're at, when you need it. Convenience. Convenience is everything. We were going to travel. Well, no, we did travel to Miami and I was supposed to take this to Miami. It's the Colgate Whitening Crystal Mint Toothpaste. Um, I didn't take it. I just took toothbrushes and hoped that my friend had toothpaste and she did. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use it. I'll use it, let you guys know what I think about it. But you already know which one is my favorite toothpaste. So why ask, huh? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, let me get to the next product. Okay, toothbrushes. Toothbrushes at Dollar Tree. Love them. Some of my favorite ones are these medium bristle toothbrushes. I always get these. I'm trying out these soft ones next. I liked the colors on these. These medium ones are also really handy. I love these. I feel like these really clean my mouth. I don't know why. And I've been trying Guru Nanda toothbrushes. I think I showed you guys one of the toothbrushes I tried last time. And I didn't like it. It was, it felt cheap. It was small. I don't know. I didn't like it. And today, or when I got them, I got some more Guru Nanda toothbrushes. And these are cool looking. I don't know. These really intrigued me, the way they look. It says they're spiral whitening bristles. 
so yeah they have like spiraled bristles i don't know if you guys can tell but these are also soft so i like to switch between soft and medium toothbrushes if i have to say which one's my favorite it's probably the medium toothbrushes i don't know i feel like they just clean your mouth better but I think some people have sensitive gums and that's why they use soft toothbrushes. What's your favorite? Do you like medium or soft toothbrushes? I don't know. I use both. I'm currently using a soft toothbrush and I just feel like it doesn't clean my teeth. So I'm going to open up the medium ones and I don't know. I'll let you guys know which ones I like the best. But tried and tested bristles are these. As you can see, they have like the plastic on the side and then they also have like a tongue cleaner. I do have a tongue cleaner, a separate tongue cleaner, but it's nice to have that option on your toothbrush. So yeah, <laughs> I know that was a lot of toothbrushes, but honestly, just try them out. Even if you buy three, it's like cheaper than buying one at like a normal store. So that's why I like to buy a lot and I like replacing my toothbrushes I don't know that's just me also last product before we go I had showed you bandages last time they were like Spongebob bandages and it was like way less bandages so you can get regular plain old bandages at Dollar Tree way more bandages these are 60 bandages for a dollar 25 and they work i love bandages at dollar tree so if you're ever interested in their first aid section i don't know go check it out because i feel like i save so much money on my first aid stuff just buying it from dollar tree i did make a video about some of the other first aid items that i got i'm not sure if it's up already or not or if it's it should be coming before this one. But yeah, I bought like, what did I buy? Like the muscle rub, um, the triple antibiotic ointment. I don't know. I bought some stuff and I really loved it. So if you want to see that video, come subscribe to my channel. And please I like this video. It would mean the world to me because when you like this video i'm guessing it shows it to other people i don't really know how it works i don't know how youtube works but we're at 700 and something subscribers it's amazing we're almost at a thousand thank you thank you guys so much i really hope that you enjoyed this video i know i rambled on about nothing but i showed you some good stuff right i think i did I can't wait to use everything now. It's been sitting in my little storage thing for like a week and I finally get to use it. So yes, I love you guys so much and I will see you next week with a new video. I post videos every week, so come back next week and see what's up. Bye. I love you guys.